guys it's me Morgan and welcome back to my channel make sure you hit that subscribe button and click on the notification bell so you'll be notified every time I upload a new video all right you guys so today I have a different type of video well it's a hair video different type of wig y'all I realize I have never um got a u-part wig from a company before like all the u-part wigs i got i made them myself and so i'm excited because this one's from a company called y wigs and i was actually gonna wear this for my birthday but i had a protective style in that my one of my best friends did and she moved away so i was like when's the next time i'm gonna get her to do my hair and i just really wasn't ready to take it out yet so i opted to have my birthday hair in that protective style still and I was just like I'll just wait for this so I'm excited because I took my protective style out and now I'm going to show you guys this u-part wig um and uh, y'all I've been wearing a lot of v-part wigs so me going to a u-part I'm like is this going to be like the same thing but what caught me about this wig is that it is a side part e-part wig so I think when you order it you pick which side you wear your bang on usually or your side part and yes yeah. so I already went ahead y'all my hair was so oily I took out the protective style and I haven't washed it yet so I kind of straightened like oily super oily hair and my hair is already fine you guys so yeah it's a little stringy but we're gonna try to make it work with this okay so like I said this is from Y wigs and it is a body wave wig and it's in 18 inches and y'all I love like I feel like there's like a little layer not the layers I guess are in the front where the bang is but there's like some layers in it and the way it's just curled I just love it and I have not cut the parting out yet because I want to show you guys first okay so this is it and y'all looks very silky smooth that's why I'm hoping my oily hair will be okay with it because this is very silky um so right here is where I'm gonna cut to make that parting but here's the inside of it so we have a comb over here and a comb over there and then these combs in the middle um and i do have anchor braids in my hair which i'll show y'all in a second but this is the construction of the wig very very bouncy and pretty so moving on here's my hair so i have an anchor braid over here and then i have an anchor braid right here i would actually did a pretty good job with this one y'all i cannot braid braid cornrow backwards to save my life i can only cornrow to the side but i think i did a good job with this one and then the rest of my hair is like in plaits in the back pulled up so uh, this is what we're working with okay okay so i cut it so this is what it's looking like the u part okay you guys so i'm gonna go ahead and put this on um i do not have a mirror Let's see if this mirror will help but i'm just literally oh my goodness this mirror is not working with me okay so I'm going to unclip these and then I'm just going to attach them to the anchor braid that I have made myself hopefully my part is still there all right let me look real quick for any adjustments I need to make. Okay, so here's what it's looking like straight out of the pack, the pack out the box. Um, I actually really like it. Um, I love how it has these side bangs right here. I'm going to go in in a few with my flat iron and kind of like bump these, touch these up because if you see them, they're just there right now and I feel like they need to be like a little more flared out or something so I'm gonna go through and then on this side too I need to flat iron this part over here but y'all this is like huge okay so let me go and touch it up and I'll be right back all right you guys so this is the final look and y'all I absolutely 
I love this look. I got my hair done like this in a sew-in, I think in 2020. And y'all, it looks exactly the same. I'm gonna put a picture up here. It looks so similar. And I feel like the length is also the same as well, or very, very similar to that. But y'all, this is giving me like sewing vibes. And in that picture, that was a whole like sewing. And uh, this is just giving me the same vibe, which I love because now I can achieve that same look without getting a whole blown sewing. So if you guys saw the beginning of my video, y'all saw like I had a little bit of hair left out up here. This is a very deep side part, by the way. So when you do leave your hair out, you need to go all the way back here. I didn't go that far because I wasn't sure. But next time I'm going to have to leave a little bit more out in the back. Um, just like a longer, have the length go longer because it is a deep side part as you can see. And so I just took my curling iron, no my flat iron, and bumped the bangs. And y'all when I was bumping the bangs I was like this is a, these are thick bangs. And I remember that I got this wig in the highest density as possible I got a 250 percent density so y'all know I love full hair I don't like little thin scrawny looking hair I like body fullness all that so I did get 250 percent density with this wig which I'm so glad I did um the bangs were super super thick so these are the bangs here and they're just really thick and then on this side, I did take um, this razor comb and I kind of just combed, razor combed it a little bit to take some of the hair out. So it would frame my face a little bit more. But I do know next time I need to leave a little bit more hair out over here. Um, but I'm going to get close in a second so you guys can see what it looks like, you know, of me covering up the weft. And I really do like the weft. It's not super thick either for it to be a U part. So let me get Okay, close. so here's what it looks like up close. Here is the leave out. Y'all, look at that. Y'all cannot tell me like this is not a sew-in. Like, look at that, okay? This looks so good and it blended nicely. Um, like I said, my hair was a little bit oily to start with. So you could probably see that, but I wash it and re-straighten it, it will blend up flawlessly. Yeah, this is perfect. So when I styled it, I did not mess with these curls at the bottom or anything. I just left it. This is how it came. I did not wash the hair yet because I wanted to keep these like little body wave curls in. Um, so I just left that alone and let it be. Um, but I'm going to give you guys the specs on this wig because y'all, if y'all need a body wave wig like this, this is the one, okay? So, um, this wig is from Y Wigs. It is 18 inches. Like I said, I'm 5'3", so this wig is 18 inches. I feel like this is the perfect length. It's giving me like grown, sophisticated vibes. Um, so 18 inches, 250% density, and it is a body wave texture. So I'm gonna leave the exact um, link to this wig. Uh, when you go on the website, you can customize it. I think the densities are like 150, 180, and 250. So like I said, this is a 250. I really do like this length. I think the shortest length was 18 inches, and that's what I got. I just want something different. I didn't want anything super long. And I feel like when I wear like straight or body wave hair, my face looks best when it's like a little bit shorter like this. So yeah, and I also have a code for you for 10% off during checkout, and it's just Morgan. Put it right here so you can type that in when you check out. Um, and I'm going to turn around so you can see the back of the hair. Okay, so and also inside I got a wig cap, an elastic band, and the clips to go with the elastic band. And this is what the box looks like. So this is it. Y wigs. I had another wig from them and it was like a pink wig. Let's see if I can find that video. But I loved it. And that was a lace wig. It was really cute. So yeah. So let me know what you guys think about this. Y'all, I love this. Like look at the body on this. I mean, I know it's body wave, but just 
like look at that and it was so easy to do like flawless okay so i'm gonna leave everything below in the info box let me know what you think and i'll see you next time bye you guys